This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everybody. It's Lenny Murphy with another one of our interview series. And today, this is a real, real honor uh, because I'm speaking to DDA Truchot, the CEO of Ipsos, uh, one of the few uh, CEOs in the industry that I have never spoken to. So this is a first for me. Uh, I'm honored. I suspect that you're probably not as honored, uh, DDA, but thank you for making the time. Okay. Anyway, no, I'm, I'm very pleased to be there with you, and I hope that it will uh, give me uh, the opportunity to, uh, uh, to, dis to, to convince you about uh, how, how our company is doing well right now. So. <laughs> That sounds good. I don't have many. Uh, I don't have many concerns about that. So that should be an easy, uh, an easy thing for you to do. Um, so, well, first, uh, congratulations. First time uh, you Ipsos became uh, number one in the Grit Top 50 Most Innovative Companies. Uh, I know that's been back and forth for a few years with you and some of your competitors, and, and this year was unequivocal uh, that you were considered number one. So, congratulations. Thank you very much. But you know, for us. The most important thing would be to stay there as long as long as possible, not not to stay just for not to be there for just for one year, but to stay there for as long as possible. So let's see what yeah. what will happen next year. Well, so let's talk about that for a minute. Um, that the what do you credit that with as far as this perception of Ipsos as being innovative in the industry? Uh, what do you think drove that from your perspective as a CEO? You know, uh, I, I, I would like to go back to uh, my very old days. You know, Ipsos was uh, founded in 1975 and was positioned by its uh, three founders, myself and two uh, colleagues, as a disruptive organization. This is where we were a long time ago. It was in 1975. And the reason why we wanted at this point of time to disrupt our industry is because we saw that it, we, our, uh, the existing companies were doing a great business, you know, they, they were doing some very good things, but they, they were not in some ways listening enough to the clients' needs, they were not close enough to their business, they were not in some ways uh, 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 embracing uh, 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 the clients' challenges and so what they were doing was very good was was great in terms of piece of research but was not to say very usable and, and everything around Ipsos story is about how can we build develop uh, uh, information and services that the clients can get catch uh, and use as as simply as possible so to get there, of course, there have been there is a mindset, but there are also a lot of initiatives that you can take in terms of uh, 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 developing uh, some uh, using some technologies, developing some new protocols, uh, bringing some new ideas in a way in which the clients they are, they are not just there to, uh, uh, to to learn, but they are there also to to build their own. Uh, I would say competitive business and to be successful with that. So this is everything, everything that Ipsos does uh, since uh, 40 years ago, even if it's not uh, as visible as we would like, is about helping our clients through innovative uh, products and solutions to, to make them uh, comfortable uh, with the situation in which, that they are facing as, as, as a business leader. So uh, that's Great history. I love that idea that you started as a disruptive force, and uh, I would argue that uh, over the past few years, you've had to disrupt yourself. Um, if I recall correctly, a few years ago, you undertook a, kind of a, a repositioning or re, uh, of the business to uh, focus on the future and and new things, and you know have gone through that process of, of uh, challenging yourself now to change as an organization. Uh, to adapt to market uh, realities, is that a is that a fair assessment? Absolutely, and you know, and we are not, we are, we are still not where we want to be, by the way, because I think that uh, we have probably uh, misunderstood how deep our clients' needs were. You know, we we are an industry which is pretty large. You know, according to the last uh, 
uh, ASMR numbers, it's a $80 billion industry, if you include, of course, uh, some services which we are not maybe traditionally uh, defined or designed as research services, but overall, it's a, it's a very large market because it's a market about, uh, you know, uh, uh, society, market information, understanding, measuring, understanding the people, and so on and so on. And you know, there is no no active, no business activity or no 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 activity at all uh, right now, which cannot be, which which don't need information. Uh, the problem is that the market research industry probably stands for too long to a model where because we were. Uh, I don't say large because we are covering many markets. We thought that, uh, uh, let's say, providing uh, just, let's say, one source of information through uh, panels or survey would be enough. But in fact, the clients, they don't care about uh, the source. They care about <laughs> the final output. They care about, you know, really measuring with the, in a very accurate way what the cloud, what the people are doing or what they are thinking, and more than ever, to understand how all of that works. Because, you know, the, the markets are extremely competitive, they are extremely volatile, they change every day, and, and, and so uh, they, they need some help. And, and when uh, uh, Ipsos, uh, uh, to, to name Ipsos, you know, I could mention other companies, but let's say when the, the existing, the established market research company were not able to provide to them what, what they needed. They came to, uh, to work with uh, many other companies, starting with uh, consulting firms uh, and, and also moving to some, uh, let's say, uh, new solutions based on some uh, specific technology. So, so all of that created uh, a situation where Ipsos, who had, who had uh, for many years uh, a story of, of growth and, and, and uh, getting uh, quickly uh, uh, the confidence of its clients uh, started to, let's say, to have a, a much more flattish business. So, so we had to shake up a little bit our, our organization, to shake up ourselves, by the way, and to, uh, to say, okay, what, how can we uh, be back to uh, uh, to a position where, where we can really be seen by our account as a, as a, a potential trusted source of, of information and advices. So we are in that process. We started in 19, uh, in, in, uh, sorry, in 2014, 15, uh, but we, there, there will be more to come to, uh, to make that happen because we, we think that we have a role to play. And, and this role is, is about clearly Developing uh, uh, with our clients the kind of relationship where we, the, where we, where we bring to them this uh, uh, extraordinary story about you know how uh, uh, how the people are, are thinking, how they are dreaming, uh, how they they can be attract attracted by their products, services, ideas, and so on, and and. and this is something that we really want to focus on, and hopefully this is where we will be uh, in the years to come. So if we look at your, your kind of primary competitors, right, those that are in the competitive set from a revenue perspective, and we won't, we won't name names, so we all know who they are, but the, uh, you know, those companies seem to primarily have uh, focused on growth through acquisition um, uh, and variety of different uh, you know, they're all in different stages of, you know, being bought by private equity or, you know, going from, uh, you know, from public companies to private companies and et cetera, et cetera. Um, where it seems as if Ipsos has kind of stood alone. Um, and I mean that in a good way that, you know, I know you're, you're a public company, but your growth does not appear to be driven primarily through acquisition. Your growth appears to be focused much more on, on uh, organically earning it. I mean, I know you buy some companies and, you know, but they're not, big mega mergers like some of the other companies have done. Um, do you, uh, as you look at the future, uh, is that what you intend to continue to do to focus on you know, growth through internal innovation and you know, driving value for your clients or through kind of this 
this more financially engineered model uh, where you're acquiring other companies and incorporating them in to achieve greater scale? Uh, well, it's not, it's not an easy question. I know you may not be able to answer that question. First of all, to, to, uh, when, when you are considering uh, these uh, questions, you need, first of all, to, uh, in some ways, to have, to have some clarity about what do you want to do? Where do you want to play? And, and we have uh, very simply stated uh, two years ago that we want to play in an area which is to help our clients to fully understand the society, the market, and the people. Fully understand means that they have uh, all the resources, the tools, the, the analytics, uh, the, also the, by the way, the, the, the organization uh, to, uh, to be uh, 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 very well informed about what is going on and how they, how they can choose to play. Okay where they can choose to play. So, so that, that, this is where we want to be. To be there, we certainly uh, need to, uh, to uh, in some ways, to, to, uh, to develop some new initiative. We need to uh, tackle some uh, unsolved uh, problems. We need to, uh, for instance, help our clients to have a better mastering of their data sets, which is the uh, uh, still a challenge, you know, in area where every day there are more data, but not necessarily uh, a comprehensive way to put that, uh, to put these data together in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a secure way. Because, you know, in, 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 we are in a world where uh, there are many, many information, the notion of uh, security, you know, it's, it's accurate. You know, I, can, I, can, I can trust these sources of information. I can trust this analytics. I can trust these models because I know how they are, they have been developed and I know who is operating them. So at the end of the day, the notion of integrity is playing a very large role. So there are many topics which can be covered through this notion of uh, total understanding that we have made our uh, mantra, I would say, two years ago. Um, do we need uh, to acquire companies to uh, make that happening probably, not necessarily very large organizations. You know, we see uh, what, what needs to be done. We have some uh, financial resources and, and some human resources uh, to, uh, to combine uh, external and, and, and uh, well, acquisition, uh, uh, sorry, um, goes through acquisition and through, uh, I would say, our own efforts. Uh, our own ideas, our own choices, but 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 you know, uh, if for the, so for the time being, there is no need for us to look at our corporate structure and to uh, to go to a kind of a public to private movement or to uh, ask some uh, uh, deep pocket institutions to to go into to invest with us in some areas. But it may happen. We we don't know. We we need to be. I would say pragmatic, having in mind that there is nevertheless a, a principle that we don't want to, uh, uh, to, uh, to forget. Uh, Ipsos have been always run as a, what we call an independent culture. Independent means that, of course, we, 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 we respect our shareholders. We are trying to provide to, to them the best possible return. But at the same time, you know, we are run by a group of professionals and we want to stay like that. As, by the way, many other companies in the professional services sector. McKinsey is run by professional consultants. Uh, ENY is run by professionals, you know, coming from different parts of the professional services world. We, we, we do, we are, we, we are uh, in some ways in the same, uh, running through the same principle, even if we are a public company, but you know, uh, Accenture is a public company, Goldman Sachs is a public company. All these companies are in one way or another uh, uh, act active in, in this professional services sector. And I'm, I'm, I, I don't think that, that there is any reason why the market research industry should not 
for its main uh, component uh, being run in the same way. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, and I, that's a, I like that answer, what it's worth. Now, if you uh, think about all the trends that are happening in the industry, uh, what is one that has you most excited? You know, that, that, that is emerging now, and you think, you know what, this is something that is really going to help redefine how we uh, deliver to our clients uh, or value to our clients over the course of the next few years. You know, I think that there is a, 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 an extreme, there are two very important uh, items that, that we need to cover, and, and I would say. Uh, Maybe uh, Ipsos have, uh, is too ambitious, but we would like to cover both. One is how can we provide to our clients the best possible access to the people and to what people uh, do, think, uh, and so on. Be because, you know, it's, uh, we are in a world where, where there are a lot, once again, you, you can say it's easier to access to people than what it was. Uh, 50 years ago, the truth is that it's easy to access to some people, not to everybody. It's easy to access to some people on something, but not on everything. So the notion of having an easy access to as many relevant people as necessary is something which is, for us, extremely important. So that's the, 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 the first element. The second item, which for us is fundamental, is about this notion of uh, I would say data mastery, that so, so we cover data integration, data analytics, data dissemination, data usage, because uh, uh, no fake news is not something which is uh, which is just for the politician. You no, know, there are a lot, a lot of information in the market which are a little bit true, but not totally true, which are uh, uh, that, that uh, our clients should not rely on. So, so we absolutely need to help our clients to, to take the control of, of all this information, at least for what is relevant for them, to be sure that they have everything that they need and you know, in the right format. So, so once again, it's, it's, uh, it's a very important mission. I know that, of course, the consulting firms are playing on that because they, 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 they in some ways, they, they have some good arguments to explain that they are well positioned to, 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 uh, to work on that. But we think that because we are uh, pretty, we know, the, we know the people, we know the markets, uh, we know what information is about, and we are learning to better know what our clients' business are about. So all of that together should give us the ability to play a role in this uh, specific uh, segment of the market. Okay. So, what worries you? <coughs> the, uh, uh, what, what, what worries me is, uh, is you know, uh, every year I am one year older, so that worries me a lot. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, you know, I've been in, uh, working in that industry for 50 years, you know, and I feel good, but, you know, I, I have to accept the fact that uh, I will, I, I will have some limitations in my ability to work uh, for another 50 years, which, which is really worrying for me. Okay. I, I understand that exactly, although I, I suspect that uh, you may not have as many limitations as you think, uh, DDA, so <laughs> I wouldn't be I shocked. Okay. <laughs> right, so, you uh, want to be conscious of, of time. The, uh, if you think about Ipsos, Five years from now, what yeah. is that vision of the company? Five years from now, what, is, what does it look like? So okay, so so uh, in five years from now, uh, first of all, we, we first will be a, a significantly larger organization because we, you know, we are uh, this year we'll uh, I know probably uh, record uh, 2.2 billion US dollars, which excludes big for a market research company. But if you compare that with the with the revenue of uh, McKinsey, for instance, we are a very small company, you know, you know so, and, and not to speak about uh, Deloitte and its 500,000 employees. So, 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 so we need to be larger, uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately. 
we need once again to stick to our mission, which is really to help our clients to have uh, the best possible uh, 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 the best possible sources of, I would say, accessible information, usable information. So we we need to stick on that. Uh, we certainly need uh, to um, uh, to um, to convince our clients that uh, uh, when 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 they are thinking about uh, 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 data and insight uh, uh, working with a market research company like Ipsos is not necessarily their worst uh, choice uh, because you know we are a neutral source of information we are uh, uh, we are not playing any specific game we we have we think uh, in our team some uh, good and honest professionals who can really work hard with uh, with them to uh, to to help them, uh, and uh, and of course uh, we will uh, have put in place uh, all I would say the ingredients which will make us uh, more efficient from a, a, a data production and a data storage perspective. You know there, there are of course a lot of stories about the importance of uh, platforms, for instance. You know and. Uh, the success of uh, Qualtrics, for instance, have been uh, 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 extraordinary and in some ways a little bit shocking, you know. To, to, but but it was, I think, a good uh, uh, a good call in terms of you know the you you are as value as, as the clients believe that uh, you can uh, help them in a, in a, in a, in an efficient way. So uh, we are developing this kind of. Uh, let's say, solutions to uh, be sure that uh, whatever our clients are, are, have, have to do, uh, they will find with Ipsos uh, a solution which will fit with their needs. So overall, I think that this company will be more, uh, I would say, uh, 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 more clever in, in, our, in the usage of a certain number of uh, technologies, more driven by uh, some uh, uh, sciences, including, of course, data sciences, uh, and but which will, which will, which, sorry, but which will always be uh, uh, as close as possible to uh, the very specific need of each of our clients. So Ipsos is a customized uh, uh, solution-based company. We, we love to customize our solutions to uh, the very specific needs of our clients, and we want to stay there. Okay, that's a again, great, great answer. But putting on my consulting hat, right? That's the uh, the type of vision that we often tell you know the clients of you know how to build towards that. So <laughs> the uh, so we're, we're drinking the same Kool Aid, CDA. Okay, um, so last question. The you know, you obviously have a long, distinguished career uh, as a leader, and you've also helped to create other leaders. Um, what advice would you give to the next generation of entrepreneurs that enter in the space? Right, we see it happen all the time. What advice would you give them? I, I think that there are a couple of things that I've always, at least, tried to apply to myself. So, so I will just uh, communicate that to to you. Uh, first of all, you need to be confident, not arrogant, but confident, because if you don't believe in what you do, in what you have chosen to do, you, know, you are going nowhere. So, so the notion of confidence for me is important. Two, of course, you need to be resilient, because uh, 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 things are, not, uh, are never going uh, in the right way in the first place, or rarely. So, so you need to, uh, to be sure that you, know, you have the strengths uh, and especially the mental strength to uh, resist to uh, to problems, whatever these problems are, small or big. And uh, third, third element, you need, uh, in some ways, to uh, to like. I would say to like people. You need to because you know we are uh, whatever are the technology usage, we are a people business. So 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 we are uh, we are uh, uh, providing services which imply. Uh, the, the commitment and and uh, and uh, the, the let's say the, a lot of experiences and knowledge from from our teams, but also we need to be sure that our teams engage the clients in the right way. So so the notion of personal relationship 
whatever it's within Ipsos or from from Ipsos to the to the rest of the world is really important. So 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 we need to work with people who like uh, the people that they are working with. So so if we have these three elements, you know, I think that anybody can do a good job. That's uh, that's great advice. The, uh, thank you. So I know you hated it, but I appreciate you sharing it. So okay. All right. So, yeah, so I know you've got a lot going on. You're, you're in New York, uh, so I'm sure that you've got back-to-back -back meetings. Um, thank you so much for the time. Is there any last thing that you'd like to make sure that our audience knows about you or Ipsos or anything else? No, I think that, you know, the, maybe just to summarize, you know, we are, uh, we do understand, I see, we think our clients' uh, challenges and, and we and we are willing to share these challenges with them in helping us, helping them as, as much as we can through our different solutions, tools, teams, and experiences. And, and uh, hopefully, uh, Ipsos will remain as one of the players in this uh, fantastic market. So, great. I have, I have no doubt. So. <laughs> It's an everyday work, you know, it's, it's, never, it's never a given, right? I, I understand. So it, it, I get it. <laughs> I worry about my own relevance uh, on yeah, a daily yeah, basis. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.